So you know, a lot of the times I get dressed in the mornings and I feel like I have nothing to wear, which is not true because I actually have a lot of clothes. The problem is, I'm a bit of a hoarder, so I haven't thrown out some of the stuff that I should have thrown out. Like, for example, chung chung chung, the mullet dress. So the mullet dress was very in in 2012. In 2013, some people wore it. In 2014, I think it's done. Yes. So this was something else that I loved. You know, the peplum shape. So I had peplum tops, peplum dresses. And I like because it makes you look very feminine. But again, I think we are done with this for 2013. See, I even have it in leather. So in 2013, it was okay. In 2014, mm. as you clear out more and more stuff, then you start to wonder, now, what exactly do I wear? So that's the fun part. So you get to go shopping, to buy new stuff to fill your wardrobe. And so today I'm going to talk about stuff that you should be buying for 2014. The kind of colours, the kind of cuts that will make you very current for the coming year ahead. So Radiant Orchid is the colour of the season. Now this is kind of a blend of fuchsia pink and purple. And a certain trend expert says that it intrigues the mind and sparks the imagination. Well, whatever that means. It is very pretty. It is also appropriate for Valentine's Day. So when picking your outfits for this year, you might want to go with this pink purple kind of hue. So pointed flats have come and gone and they were most memorable in the 50s and 60s as popularised by Audrey Hepburn. So for this season, they come in all manner of designs. There are edgy ones, there are very feminine ones and there are some that are downright luxurious. But the one thing that is in common is that your feet will be thanking you because finally flats are in and heels are out. If you are colour shy, you might want to go with basic black. So this is easy and understated but still very chic and it was seen on the runways at Honor. There were iridescent sparkles and double barrettes and at Dolce & Gabbana, there was a more lace-inspired style to keep things relevant but still super pretty. So for this season, anything goes. You can go with a more exciting floral print. You can even go with a more nude coloured minimalist design. So when buying your pair of shoes for this season, just keep in mind your overall style, what you wear from a day-to-day -day basis and try to find a pair of shoes that best fits in with that. So remember you can catch up with me on Twitter, on Facebook and on Instagram. Oh and subscribe to my channel. See ya!